Hey everybody, it's Mecca here from Driven Hard, and today I'm sitting in the 2021 Range Rover Villar. And I just wanted to go over some of the off-road modes and options that you get with the Villar. And um, yeah, just help some of you who are looking for a little bit more information on this. I'm going to keep it super, super basic. Nothing too fancy. So first off, when you, you have the three screens up here, climate, uh, seat, or vehicle. When you click on vehicle, you're going to be able to select the different off-road modes as well as adjust your height suspension with the adjustable air suspension here. And uh, so currently I'll put that down and we're dropping into axis height mode right now. Um, so you have your dynamic mode over here. If uh, the Velars con configured it with the dynamic mode, you have the eco mode, which you never, ever, ever want to hit that button. Um, and then you have your comfort mode for regular everyday driving. And then you have this little icon right here. It's your grass, gravel and snow mode. So when I click on that, um, I'm also going to get the um, activate low tra traction launch. So I'm going to hit yes for this. So what this does is, um, you know, I'm on my driveway right now and we're kind of on a bit of a slope, which I'll show you in a second. But let's say it's covered in nice and I want to pull into the driveway. So what I can do um, is activate this and I gradually, like it says, when it's on, you're going to see this little icon, that little icon listed right there. This icon tells you you're in grass, gravel, snow, and that's your suspension height. And so what I'm going to do is gradually apply the accelerator pedal until you move away from the resting position. And what this does is if you try this yourself in a slippery situation, you're going to see how different the accelerator pedal will feel and react um, and how the car is going to feel and react when low traction launch is on. It's a really, really, really impressive feature um, for those of you who are stuck in a little snowstorm and you don't have snow tires, for example, or um, it also works in, in mud ruts mode, I believe, but uh, it's a really, really neat feature. So we're going to just stop that for right now. And those are the, um, uh, what do you call it? variables that have to be happening in order for this mode to work vehicle has to be stationary foot off the accelerator and uh, you're in either auto mode which this car does not have it's not um, i believe it's not configured with the auto mode um, grass gravel snow or uh, comfort so not mud ruts but let's go to mud ruts so a couple things are going to happen when you go to mud ruts. You're going to notice, first off, the suspension is going to increase up to the off-road height. It's also going to automatically turn on your downhill assist control. So check this out. Mud ruts program selected, off-road height selected, and you can see the little icon for the hill descent control. So we're moving up and now you see the front display on your dash has changed. So it's now gonna show you all sorts of wheel information and what the center diff is doing. I cannot activate low traction launch anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead, close that out. I'm gonna hit the off-road pages button. And this brings up your off-road information. So you can see my driveway has 6% slopes. It's not that steep at all. I guess it might be steep for a driveway. Um, zero, zero percent. Uh, zero degree pitch um, offer the information of what the wheels and the differentials are doing what modes I'm currently in and um, you also have your weight sensing right here meters I don't know why it always goes to meters it should be in feet but uh, weight sensing it's a cool little gimmick feature completely useless in the real world because you don't want to be watching that crap you want to be watching what's in front of you <laughs> um, and then this, of course, just gives you some more information of exactly what is happening um, in each mode, which these are really, really good to read because it'll actually explain um, some things you might not know about how your Range Rover um, Velar or Land Rover product in general is working in different modes and when to use them. So let's go into sand. Now sand, it's gonna drop the suspension back down to normal height, I believe might not do that automatically but it doesn't have to be in um, off-road height anymore you can see sand has changed here um, so it's telling you a bit more about sand and uh, see what's cool about sand mode is also using deep gravel 
right? Um, it's weird. On the Range Rover, it also tells you you can use this in deep snow as well. Um, so it's really neat. But, uh, you know, if progress is reduced in deep, soft, dry sand, switching off DSC may help. So there's a lot of cool information that it's going to tell you in this um, terrain response info page um but yeah i just wanted to do a quick little video give you some insight for those of you who might not be familiar with all your controls in your brand new car that you just got but uh, these things are so capable even on the stock 21 inch rims that this thing is currently setting on this will beat everything else in its class off-road hands down will it compete will it hold up and keep in paces with a real Land Rover Defender or Range Rover, Range Rover Sport, no, but it's not designed for that. It's designed to shame all the other city SUV 4x4s or all-wheel drive systems out there. Land Rover has definitely done a great job with this little one here. Hey, if you like this information and you like learning about more Range Rover and Land Rover stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Driven Hard. See you next time, guys.